is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com, and thank you for watching How to Buy a Home. Well, we're getting to closing, aren't we? We're almost there. You've gone through the title, and the title is clear, and it looks good. You've gone through the inspection, the dishwasher works, the garbage disposal works, and the roof doesn't leak, and you still like the house. Great. Now, you're at the very tail end, and the lender is asking for you from you additional items, jumping through a little bit more hoops than they already have. And that's okay, do it. Say they want a last bank statement or a last pay stub, give it to them right away, or a letter of explanation on a hiccup that you had in your credit report. Give them that information. They're loaning you a lot of money, and golly gee, that's reasonable, even though it seems like it's a lot, but it really isn't if you think about it. So that's all good. Um, so once that's done and the conditions are removed from the loan, Yay! They say you are approved for the loan totally and they can fund. Well, how the next step is, is you have the walkthrough. And what you do is walk through the home. Preferably, you're around to walk through the home. To make, and what you're doing through a walkthrough is to make sure that there's no damage to the house that wasn't there prior. For example, I've had a burn in the carpet. It was no big deal, though. Fired, fired in care, they're getting new carpet anyway, so it was no big deal. But it was like, whoa, what's this? <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Um, it worked out all right. Um, or maybe water heater pops. It was a vacant house and the water he heater pops. That happened, too. And that was okay. The one-year home warranty covered it. That was good. Um, so things do happen. So you do want to walk through on that house. And, and usually it turns out just fine. But they do happen once in a blue moon. Not very often. But it can happen. And once you have that walk through, then you close on the loan. How does that look? Well, in California, they close in escrow. The title person will give you a jingle and say, hey, we hit, we're getting funding, so you can close on the loan. Come on in and close. So you bring certified funds, the amount they tell you to bring for the down payment, prepaids, and closing costs. And um, you bring it in. You sign in the paperwork. Your agent can or cannot be with you. It's really up to you and the agent if you'd like that to happen. It's all good. And you meet, you close, and there you go. You bought a house. You'll get the keys through your agent, and um, and then you go. You bought a house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, in Colorado, they close at the table, and what that means is the agents get on the phone, they coordinate the closing, everybody meets together, and with the title person, the loan officer, the buyer, the seller, and the two agents is a common closing, and you sit down and you sign the paperwork. The loan officer is there to answer any questions you may have on, on your loan. The title person is there to answer any questions you have on the title. If you have any additional questions or things that, that, that you may have on, on whatever, any paperwork, your agent's there to look through things and make sure you're comfortable and everything's good. And that's exactly how it works. And everybody sits and chats and the seller will tell you when garbage night is and um, who, who they use for having their garbage taken away for the last 10 years or um, just who the neighbors are and how nice they are and stuff like that. That's, that's kind of how the closing works. It's really comfortable. And even if it is closing a table, sometimes the seller is separate from the buyer. That does happen too. Maybe they're out of town sellers. Um, or maybe they, you guys didn't get along in the deal. <laughs> that could happen. It doesn't happen very often, but they could. And there's, there's animosity going on, so you close separately. Or if it's a multi-million dollar deal, I've had that happen. And you close separately in separate rooms at the same time. There's no animosity. It's just that's how they decided to close on that deal. It's close it separate. Odd but true. It's true. It does happen. But what I find, it's nice to, the more people, the merrier. If everybody can get together, sit down, and close, it's, it's kind of fun. It's, a, it's an event. It's something you remember and it's pleasant. And it's always nice to meet the seller that you have um, buying their home from, from you because, you know, it's just nice to know who, who you're buying your home from. So... You've closed, you're good to go, go have a party. Move in, have your housewarming party, and have a wonderful life. I do believe in home ownership. It does make everybody feel more stable. The children, the parents, whoever's living in that house feels a lot more stable, knowing that you can paint that wall. And yeah, it's a 30-year loan, but it will be paid off in 30 years, and you won't be, you'll only be paying tax and insurance. You're not paying someone else's mortgage. It's a delight owning your own home. It gives you stability, it gives you confidence, it gives you self-esteem, it gives you a lot. It's wonderful. So I highly recommend owning a home, as you can tell. Um, and congratulations. I hope this 
this whole series helped you on how to buy a home. Um, if not, sorry. And if so, great. And if you have any questions, always feel free to call me at 805-295-6252. I'll be happy to help you out with any questions that you may have. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.